we had a catch up with Andrew McLean, the founder of Cyclab, just to find out how he is coping with the lockdown and not being able to ride out on the road. Let's see what he had to say. Your daily routine changed? Is there something that you're doing differently? Um, how's, how's your training changed in, in terms of that? So what I did was on kind of from day one, I decided to try and keep my routine as much or as close to normal as possible. So uh, <clears throat> every morning I get up at five o'clock, got introduced to the concept of Zwift. I kind of always assumed it was TV games on your bike and I kind of almost laughed at it a little bit and it wasn't the real thing, but I, yeah. I was absolutely wrong and I absolutely loved Zwift training and more importantly, racing. So yeah. uh, I did that early in the morning and then uh, shower, come into my office, which I've set up here at home, work, I have little breaks, um, spend quality time with the family. I've set out a number of goals on day one that I want to achieve by the end of lockdown. Thanks to the president, he gave me two extra weeks, so now I'm going to achieve <laughs> all my goals. Um, so there are things like reading books, watching YouTube tutorials, um, TED Talks are fantastic. So I've, I've kind of set many little goals and in an odd kind of way, it's been really, really cool. The family time, the quality time um, that you can have as a business, we've also had to adapt and uh, obviously online has become a big thing for us. Um, we've been working with you a lot on our video content. So we've learned a lot and I've got absolutely no doubt that things will never be the, quite the same again. However, it's forced us as a business to change our model, to look outside the box, to reinvent some things and look at how do we change our ecosystem and look after our customers in this new world that they're going to experience. And obviously when it comes to cycling, we think it's going to be very much a digital Zwift as well as outdoor and a combination of the two. So uh, all in all, in, in, in a way I've thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and I've certainly enjoyed the training. I've enjoyed the family time to read books and do things that uh, I haven't been able to do for a long time. Do you think e-racing is going to become kind of the next best thing for cycling or another version that people can get, get more involved in? Absolutely. I mean, <clears throat> I've done group rides, I've done individual time trials, I've done team time trials, and it is as good, if not better than the real thing. Um, competing against guys from all over the world, checking your ranking based on your age or based on your weight, looking at your power to weight. There's lots of data there that way inclined, or you can just be riding your bike. And if you do want to race, there's different categories, so you can ride with people of a very similar ability to you. I think it's absolutely fantastic. I've got no doubt they will get the off-road as good as the on-road. I think cycling is absolutely ideally positioned at the moment with what's happening in the world. If you think of bikes being good yeah. for the environment, being good for your health, spending time with family and friends. These are the things that are becoming important to people again after this reset that we've just had. And so I think bicycling and cycling the world over is absolutely going to boom. I mean, and there's 22,000 other people on Zwift with you, busy riding, racing, enjoying their bikes. So I think, um, uh, Zwift is going to boom and I think cycling is going to boom as a consequence as well. Post Epic Blues, you kind of went from not starting the Cape Epic to, to full on lockdown, not being able to go to work. Have you adjusted well? Setting goals, having a routine and finding Zwift have made it really easy for me. So I'm not looking back. Um, you know, for me, Epic is just the icing on the cake. For me, the journey of getting prepared and riding with my mates and having coffee um, the journey is, is as important as the epic at the end of it. So um, I'm lucky enough to have done 10 and uh, you know, it is what it is. It was the right call. However, Zwift filled that gap and I think I've probably done about 10 or 11 races on Zwift and every race on Zwift is absolutely flat out effort. So um, I've got more than enough racing in it at the moment. But I am looking forward to getting back outdoors on my mountain bike with my mates and having coffee at the end of the ride.